The thing about uh, the difficult ones is, how are they difficult, right? So let's look at this story. This actually comes from uh, a Sufi tradition. And in the story, there is a spiritual community that is led by G.I. Gurdjieff. And G.I. Gurdjieff is living in France, leading this community. And there is an old man in the group, in the community, who is every way difficult for everyone in the group. He is, he irritates everybody. He himself is irritable. He's angry. He's got chip on his shoulder. He doesn't help out in any way. He doesn't contribute um, to the group in any way. And he fights with everyone. And he's unwilling to sort of make things right and to communicate and to go through that process. He himself is really frustrated too. So after several months of trying, he just leaves and he says, I'm headed to Paris. Well, G.I. Gurdjieff follows him and he talks to him and he tries to convince him to come back. And the old man says, no, it's just too hard. I'm not doing it. No, no, I'm not going. So G.I. Gurdjieff has this idea. He says, okay, how about if I pay you a really handsome sum each month, a, a large stipend just for you to be a part of our community? And the man, how could he refuse, right? So he's like, all right. So he comes back to the community. The people are aghast. Are you kidding me? He left and you went and got him and brought him back? They can't even believe it. And then they catch wind that, that their spiritual teacher is now paying the guy to stay. Now they're spending a lot of money to be in this community. And so you can imagine they are up in arms. And so they all get together and G.I. Gurdjieff listens to everybody's complaints and it goes on for a very long time as you might imagine over and over the same complaints. And finally, he just starts laughing and he explains, don't you see this man is yeast for the bread? How would you ever learn about anger and irritability and patience and compassion without someone like him in the mix? He says, you see why you pay me? So I, I can hire him. And so this is the way that worked for them in that spiritual community. It helps, though, doesn't it, to appreciate our teachers, to recognize those with whom we say are difficult, that they are our teachers. They are the ones who push those buttons that help us, that urge us along the way on our spiritual journey. The premise of the practice of metta is the idea that we are all one, even the difficult parts of ourselves, the difficult parts of the whole, right? And so it is out of that oneness that we recognize that we have universal needs, that we all have a desire, a need, and a deserving, really, of freedom. We all deserve and want and need kindness and love and connection and all of those needs that we all talk about and, and know as spiritual qualities.